natural work of art located in the heart of Maryland in Onigbongo local council development area in Lagos State Southwest Nigeria is one of the many different forms of visual arts produced in Nigeria whether it's one with strong imaginative or aesthetic appeal we'll be looking into inspirations behind some of these artworks how lucrative is it for the practitioners and what's the role of art in national development these and so much more on today's edition of community reports welcome to the show i am your main otaibi Works of art, they tell time, history, and lifestyle of a people. The history of arts in Nigeria dates back centuries ago with archaeological treasures depicted in bronze, terracottas, metal works, paintings, potteries, and wood carvings, among others. Art is still playing the role that is um, uh, that is played there. More importantly, at that time, Nock helped to document history, and today we still refer to it, you know, as a uh, Nock art, Igbuku, um, uh, Ife art, uh, Benin, and all that. So SCA uh, and uh, and so on. So these are the times when art at that time was at its peak and uh, how do I mean at its peak it helps to note the civilization of that time today we are in modernism we are in actually even postmodernism um, uh, we uh, today there is art in everything today there is art in everything in communication there is art in, 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 in philosophy there is art in psychology there is art in health there is art uh, so, in, in, in human existence, there is art. So, art is all over. The list of frontline artists involved in the different forms of visual arts in the country include Aina Onobolu, Obiora Udechuku, Bruce Onobrepeya, Yusuf Grillo, Ben Enwong, Demas Umoko, and a host of other talented artists. So now, in this course, we'll be focusing on the art of the Egyptians, because that particular period coincided with the Neolithic period. So now, a young lecturer, Jimo Ganiu of the Creative Arts, Arts, Arts Department of the University of Lagos, is now part of the modern art, art education system, art which is said to have started in Nigeria in 1923. It takes on 100 to 200 level students, giving them background into the history of arts. There, there is still limitation to how long the body can still stay. So they started sculpting the images of these dead pharaohs. After the lectures. Ah, hello, good afternoon. Nice How's everything? Fine. Yeah, well done, yeah. So, I caught up with Jimo, who tells me more about visual arts and the story of how he was almost prevented from studying arts. When we talk about arts, we are talking about um, human expressions in tangible form. So when we are talking about visual arts, we are talking about the visual aspects 
of these expressions of reality or expression, expression of imaginations which can be in different forms like painting, graphic art, um, textiles, sculptural works and it's even ceramics. So those are the forms of arts and crafts that we have all around. And uh, in the modern time, in the contemporary time, we also have the digital arts and the animation, cartooning and so on and so forth. Art, at, as, like Aristotle you know, pointed out, that art is my message, imitation of reality. So, and you see, you can actually say a lot about a particular society uh, by looking at the art forms that were being produced at that particular period in time. My personal story, you know, my, my dad did not want me to, you know, study art initially because whenever I was drawing then, you know, and he saw me drawing and all that, you know, he would scold me. That was part of the problem then because I found it tough, you know, uh, to convince, to be able to convince him, you know, to study fine art, even in secondary school. It took, uh, luckily for me, uh, there was this friend of his who happens to be my fine art teacher in secondary school. So I just told him about that and that uh, my fine art teacher approached my dad uh, and, and told him about the prospects of being a visual artist. So and that was when he started encouraging me because uh, art materials are expensive, you know, and, and as a young boy in secondary school, I needed materials, I needed the support of my parents to be able to actually you know, do the arts, and that helps me a lot. But there, there were so many, you know, uh, some of my friends that couldn't, you know, study art, all because of the perception about art in school, that, okay, when you finish studying art, what do you want to, okay, after that, you'll be doing signboards around, you'll be doing this, you'll be doing that. But the truth is that that perception is changing. It is certainly not all about theories. The students get to put their ideas down on their drawing boards. 